In this video, I'm covering the USS Brooklyn and USS Helena. Both are Brooklyn-class light cruisers, and as of the 1.99 update, are easily the two most powerful ships in all of War Thunder. First, I'd like to thank Heatseeker for helping me get the Helena, as it's been an absolute blast to play and review. I'm also using the Judgment skin on the Helena in order to make it more visually distinct from the standard Brooklyn class. For a bit of history, the Brooklyn class was designed as a counter to the Japanese Mogami class. At the time, the Mogamis were armed with 15 6-inch guns, so the US matched that armament, not knowing Japan's secret plan to swap them up to 8-inch guns. Nine of the class were built, being laid down and launched from 1936 to 1938. The only Brooklyn to be sunk in World War II was the USS Helena, being hit by a Japanese torpedo strike during the Battle of Kula Gulf in 1943. Many ships of the Brooklyn class were sold to Argentina, Brazil, and Chile after the war. USS Phoenix was sunk by the British during the Falklands War, while the rest were eventually sold for scrap. These ships also have a significant history in War Thunder. From Update 1.87 to Update 1.95, the Brooklyn was the undisputed king of naval, with a few ships like the Chapayev and Mogami coming close, but never really dethroning it. It eventually lost this title with the addition of the Admiral Graf Spee, but after 1.99's massive buff to USN anti-frag armor, it's taken its place as the strongest ship in the game back. The Helena was also tied with the Belfast for being the first top VR premium, being introduced in 1.93 when the Brooklyn was still debatably the strongest ship in the game, with the Helena still being a direct upgrade to it. Both have the same primary armament, 15 6-inch 47 caliber cannons split into 5 turrets. Three of these turrets are at the front of the ship, with the other two in the back. It's worth noting that one of the front turrets faces towards the rear of the ship, making it take a bit longer to turn when engaging targets in front of the ship. These turrets turn rather slowly at 5 degrees per second, but have 165mm of rolled cemented armor to make up for it. The 6-inch 47 caliber cannon has an excellent fire rate of 10 shells per minute, putting out a lot more shells than comparable 6-inch cannons of other countries. They also have a tight dispersion pattern even at longer ranges, making them pretty effective at hitting specific parts of ships even at long distances. For shells, the Brooklyn gets a few types, HE, AP, HE base fuse, and HE VT. The HE shells have 5.88 kg of TNT equivalent, which is pretty good for 6 inch HE. However, with 1.99 shell changes, I can't recommend using the standard HE shells for longer than it takes to unlock different ammunition. The AP shells have less explosive filler and penetration than many comparable 6 inch AP shells, but easily make up for it due to the Brooklyn's high fire rate. When aimed well, the AP shells can quickly destroy the ammo racks of other ships, making the Brooklyn excellent for getting rid of large ships and heavy cruisers. For the last of the anti-ship shells, the HE base fuse shell provides the same base stats as high explosive in addition to a longer fuse delay, penetrating further into a target and dealing more damage while also bypassing the surface layers of USN anti-fragmentation armor, allowing it to actually deal damage to them. Lastly, the HEVT ammo is quite effective at destroying aircraft due to the high fire rate of the Brooklyn and is certainly worth bringing to swat down low altitude aircraft. I'd recommend bringing mostly HE base fuse ammo, then some AP ammo for destroying ammo racks, and lastly a few salvos worth of HEVT to fend off aircraft. When it comes to fighting aircraft, the Brooklyn and Helena are significantly different. The Brooklyn gets 8 5 inch 25 caliber turrets and 8 ANM 250 cal turrets. The Helena gets a vastly improved anti-air loadout with 4 dual 5-inch 38 caliber turrets, 4 dual Bofors turrets, and 12 20mm Orlikon turrets. To start with the Brooklyn, the 5-inch cannons get HETF and HEVT shells. The HEVT shells are a direct upgrade due to having more explosive filler and the improved fuse. While the 5-inch cannons are surprisingly good at killing aircraft and the 50 cals can occasionally score a kill, it still has an overall weak anti-air armament. The Helena's 5-inch cannons get HE and HEVT only. I'd take just the HEVT to deal with aircraft, as the AI in control of the cannons doesn't properly swap between shell types. The overall anti-air power of the Helena is significantly stronger than that of the Brooklyn, with the Bofors and Orlikon autocannons being able to easily handle planes at medium to close ranges. This is the most significant difference between the two ships, with the Helena being better to an absurd degree. Next comes survivability. The Brooklyn has 868 crew, and the Helena has 1,188 crew. Both have the same armor layout, with a pretty small main belt and a full 16mm anti-frag hull. This gives both ships near immunity to standard high explosive ammunition due to 1.99's damage models and shell model changes. The internal layout of both ships is worth noting too. Both ships are very difficult to detonate due to the very low placement of the main ammunition storage, along with fuel tanks protecting the ammo of the front three guns. The most vulnerable ammo is in the shell rooms directly below the turrets, 
but even those are difficult to detonate due to being relatively small and well protected with 152mm of rolled cemented armor. The Helena has some other differences from the Brooklyn here. The first stage ammo stowage of the 127mm cannons is outside the hull, making them easy to detonate and severely damage the ship. The internal engine layout is more separated than that of the Brooklyn, making the engines much harder to knock out with a single hit. Overall, the Helena is generally more survivable than the Brooklyn, though it's worth keeping the weakness of the Helena's external ammunition storage in mind when facing one. Both have the same mobility stats, a top speed of 60 km per hour, and average stats elsewhere. The Brooklyn and Helena have some of the most average and non-noteworthy mobility in the game. They're fine, but it doesn't really matter one way or the other. As for playstyle, one of the biggest strengths of the Brooklyn and the Helena is that they can work with almost any method of play. You can stay at long range and spam shells into enemy ships, close the distance and brawl enemies using HE base fuse to tear apart their crews, or snipe ammunition racks with AP shells for quick kills. The high firepower and survivability of both ships makes them incredibly versatile, and there aren't many situations where they're at a disadvantage. As for specific tips, one important thing to do is find a key to ranging shot. The Brooklyn's reload is fast enough that it can put out an endless stream of shells when firing single shots, which makes it easy to destroy small ships and aircraft since you can constantly adjust your aim, rather than having to do so every salvo. When facing other Brooklyns in the Brooklyn or Helena, I'd recommend disabling their guns with AP shells or aiming slightly under them to hit the charge rooms. It's difficult to kill a Brooklyn by destroying the crew, and the large ammo racks at the bottom are very hard to detonate. Bow tanking isn't very effective in the Brooklyn or Helena as you remove three-fifths of your firepower, but both ships can angle pretty far towards an enemy with all five turrets still on target, making them even more survivable without sacrificing any firepower. For the Brooklyn's modifications, I'd recommend the following order. Toolset, Fire Protection System, 6-inch Mark 34 HC, 6-inch Mark 35 AP, Rudder Replacement, Shrapnel Protection, Ventilation, 5-inch Mark 28 AAC VT, Ammo Wetting, and Engine Maintenance. The Helena comes with all modifications unlocked, along with the Talisman. For crew skills, I'd recommend prioritizing leadership, main caliber reload speed, crew interchangeability, fire prevention, and ship control. For grinding the US naval tree, the Helena is incredible. It's easy to use and currently the best ship in the game. With the Cowl currently unpurchasable, the Helena is the only viable premium grinder for reaching top tier American naval. This was pretty obviously planned to upsell people who wanted to grind the US Navy while it's hot, but even if the changes in 1.99 are rolled back, the Helena will still be an amazing grinder for the US tree for the foreseeable future. Out of every premium ship in War Thunder, the Helena easily gets my highest recommendation, along with a bit of spite for being blatantly pay to win. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more naval content.